The Delaware State Fair began a century ago during a vastly different time for the state and nation. Despite the turmoil and difficulties that faced the country, a few townspeople gathered in Harrington, Delaware with a dream that was much bigger than them. As the history and the story of the fair's past and present unfolds, be sure to take notice of the numerous people that have contributed to the planning and the execution of this July tradition. This Treasured Memories video series is a salute to our past, our volunteers, and most importantly, our supporters. Our fair relies on their heartfelt commitment year after year to provide a joyous experience for hundreds of thousands of fairgoers. The Delaware State Fair would like to thank Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield Delaware for their continued support of the Delaware State Fair and the support of this video storybook. This is our story, our centennial celebration. This is the Delaware State Fair. Each year, tens of thousands of entries pour in for contests, special events, and various categories of competition. In 2018, the fair's 3,089 exhibitors totaled more than 41,000 competitive entries. Entries continue to grow and expand each year with a positive trend. The 4-H and FFA organizations have helped to continue the tradition of exhibiting at the fair. The Dover Building houses the best Delaware has to offer in culinary, children's, needlework, arts and crafts, garden vegetables, flowers, and farm fruit and apiary. Uh, when they come into the Dover Building in my particular department, the first thing that catches their eyes are the quilts that are all hanging up and they are amazed by them. We also have a lot of afghans and a lot of needlework that's done. Across from me is the arts and crafts where she has all kinds of crafts that go on over there. There's a children's department which a lot of people think it's a part of the 4-H but it is not. The children's department is, are for those kids that do not belong to the 4-H so any child can be in the fair if they want to be. 4-H and FFA exhibit displays can be found in the center ice rink during the Delaware State Fair. The 4-H program, which became national in 1914, focuses on four personal leadership and life skill development areas, head, heart, hands, and health, while also emphasizing citizenship, community responsibility, and global impact. Delaware has been cited as the first state of 4-H with the highest per capita participation throughout the United States. Future Farmers of America, now known as simply FFA, began in 1928 with a mission to develop youth leadership potential, personal growth, and agricultural science education for career success. During the fair, you can stop by the FFA Agricultural Education Center for hands-on activities and insight about the agriculture in Delaware. Members of the FFA also contribute to the presentation of the FFA Ag Venture Area, which was developed to help introduce the world of livestock and agriculture to individuals visiting the fair, most of who were not raised on or even set foot on a farm. Many Delaware State Fair directors and volunteers can trace their early connection with the event to youthful years as a member of a 4-H club or FFA organization. I was uh, involved with 4-H and so I came up here to the fair as a 10 year old or so and uh, was a 4-H'er for like eight years so each year I was put stuff in the fair and stuff like that and gardening, uh, vegetables and that kind of stuff. My mother, her name was Mary Jester, my father's name was Ilwood. She was very active in the fair for over 30 years. Back in the late 60s up until the late 80s. She was very active in the needlework department. In fact, she made a quilt that had over 150 ribbons on it. She actually had over 700 ribbons and probably close to 1,000 when finally she, uh, she stopped exhibiting. My parents were 4-H members. I'm one of eight children. Where we met was about a mile from home. Millwood 4-H club was members of a big family like that. We all took part in the 4-H and stuff. I won judging cattle for three years straight 
through my Melford High School, through the FFA, I was worked my way through the school, uh, ended up as a senior, as president of the club, and was uh, elected state treasurer of the FFA in my senior year. I lived here all my life and I enjoyed going to the fair. I, I was there this year, even though I had a broken ankle. I have 4-H'ers in my family, and they are very, very active in the fair. I have six grandchildren, four who are very, very active in the fair. They have sheep, sheep you name it, goats, they've shown it. They've won top prizes. They've come out with just a ribbon. That didn't matter to them. It was the idea they were there, they were having a good time. They've entered arts and crafts, needlepoint. They've entered everything, and as a grandmom, I was proud to watch them. I remember the year my one granddaughter won grand championship with a goat, and we were just so proud of her and sitting there watching her. We uh, do the grains, the hay, uh, honeys, and that type of thing, and fruits. So, uh, we're fighting hard to keep the numbers up. Uh, farmers are going out of business, and uh, it's hard to keep particularly the small stuff going. But we're uh, trying to spread the word to various organizations. We anticipated the fair and the date the fair would be held, oh, for months ahead, really. And, of course, Mom would start getting ready with her canned goods and stuff. I know the one year she canned 640 quarts of fruits and vegetables to see us through. 640 quarts. Remember it very well because times was tough back then, really tough. And uh, the sheriff came out and canned, counted her canned goods because dad was late with his taxes on the farm. And they were thinking about taking her canned goods and selling them. That's how things were back then, yeah, yeah. when the fair was getting started. So I've seen a lot of history with the fair and a tremendous amount of history on the farm. Mom's ribbons and the enjoyment I had when we got to come to the fair. This is our story, our centennial celebration. This is the Delaware State Fair.